Ola Guapo con queso. That means hello handsome with cheese. Um, welcome back. This video might be long, I'm not sure. I have not edited all of it yet. Um, but I decided to try out some skincare, try out a self tanner, try out some makeup with all of you today because I had nothing else to do. So I got from very ugly to moderately passable. Thank you for clicking on another video of mine and giving me a chance and supporting me. That's very, very nice of you. And I commend you for that great charity work that you're doing. Brace yourself because I'm about to be fugly as shit, but that's okay. We're all kind of fugly. Nobody like actually looks like how they go out into the world. You know what I mean? But like we're all fugly. So like, and that's tea. We're all just fugly people. Okay, so to start out, um, I'm going to like forget what this is called, dermaplane. I'm gonna dermaplane my face. I'm just gonna get rid of all the peach fuzz that's on my face so that makeup looks better and um, I don't know, so I don't have peach fuzz on my face. I don't have like a mustache or a unibrow or anything like that. So I'm gonna do that. Last night I tried the ordinary. So let me just walk you through what I did because that's what you do on YouTube. So I took all my makeup off. Sorry that I'm about to look very ugly. I took all my makeup off, look at all of it. I washed my face and rubbed the fuck out of my eyes and tried to pat my skin dry. Oh my god, look, I have no eyebrows. Okay, so I took it, I put it on my face, just like this. It looked a little crazy. And then I waited. And then I came back, looked like Kim K, washed my face again, pat dry, drum roll. What does my skin look like? Still acne. But it was soft. It was very soft. But I still had acne scars. Okay, bye. Back to the video. Yeah, I woke up and my skin st still feels pretty soft. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. Like, if I love it or not, I'm not sure. Because I haven't been, that was my first time using it. So, I mean, I'll keep trying it and seeing. I mean, I bought it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start dermaplaning my face now. And if you don't know how to do this, there's a million videos on how to do it. But essentially, all you're doing is just um, going in the opposite direction of the hair and just removing all the hair from your face. You can use this to shape your eyebrows as well. If you um, if you already have like a pretty good shape, you can just go in and like remove the hair that you don't want and kind of just shape your um, like your front of your eyebrow and stuff like that. I use it to just shave off the ends of my eyebrows. Um, I try to pluck them as much as I can because shaving it will oftentimes um, like break me out. Like right here, I kind of broke out from it. I'm going to need too much hair that comes off on mine because I do this often. I do this probably once a week because it's a good like physical exfoliant as well as like getting rid of the hair. And I'm Italian and Indian. I don't know what that means, but it, it, I feel like it means I get more hair, but I'm not sure if that's exactly what that means or not. Okay, so now that I'm done getting all the hair off of my face, I'm going to, I'm going to wash my face and then put this super fucking cute uh, face mask on. It's so cute, just wait, it's so cute. So I just washed my face. Normally I would tone my skin before I put a face mask on, but tonight I'm trying, I got, um, so I tried that ordinary face mask last night. I got another ordinary, um, I don't know if it's like a serum or what, I'm not sure, I haven't even opened it yet. But it's like an acne solution. So I used to use Curology for, I don't know, like a couple months. And it did help my skin out a lot. But it's like too expensive for me on my budget. It's too expensive to be spending $40 a month on that little bottle of um, like medicine that you would get. But I was looking on The Ordinary one day. And just like looking at all this stuff. Because I heard it was like good but cheap. You know what I mean? And I came across this, and I don't know how to say it. I think it's niacinamide. Niacinamide? I'm not sure. Niacin I don't know how to say it. Niacinamide. Back of my Curology profile, looked up like the ingredients that they used in my specific skincare solution or whatever, and that was what was in it. So I decided to buy this, but I don't know how my skin is going to react. So I don't want to put like any acidity, anything 
that's gonna strip my skin or you know what I mean I don't want to put anything that might burn my skin on until I know how this reacts by itself first so I'm gonna do this tonight um, I didn't do it last night because I used that mask last night you know what I mean I'm trying to be good to my skin I'm trying to like let it breathe and not do anything you know what I mean not trying to burn my skin so normally I put a toner on because that's just like what I would do I'd wash my face put a toner on and then do like a serum or a mask um, but I'm not gonna do a toner today so this fine little mask this is from Walmart these are like 250 Walmart has the best like face masks ever because they're cheap and they actually work anyways that's from Walmart it's from the brand Sue AE New York um but yeah it has little cactuses all over it it's called cactus soothing gel mask it has like this one has like a thick ass gel on the inside of it and can you see that look how cute mm. so then you just kind of look incredible for 15 minutes 20 minutes extra goopy gel that's in here i'm gonna take it i'm gonna bring it down my neck onto my chest and onto my titties um for extra moisture all over um and i'm gonna do that off camera okay i'm back I'm going to take the mask off it's been about a half an hour with it on and i always have to like push my eyebrows back into place otherwise it'll like ruin my self-esteem you know, I'm just gonna finish with my morning, like what I do in the morning, skincare wise. So take a moisturizer and kind of pile it on. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eye cream. I use the Kylie Skin eye cream with the sunscreen that my dog ate. Oh look, it came out of the top, so now I got some from the top. I think I should get new sunscreen. Okay, now that I have 500 layers of moisturizer on my skin. I'm gonna go, I have to go drop off some Depop packages at the post office. So I'm gonna do that and that'll give me enough time to let everything kind of sink into my skin. And um, yeah. Okay, I'm back. I forget how oily this sunscreen makes me. Do you see like all the, it's not oily, but well, I guess it is, it's like oily. I'm gonna self tan now. I got this, it's Be Tan Forever and Ever. I got this from Walmart. I also saw a bunch of reviews on this online, um, so I bought it. I'm completely naked right now, it looks like. Oh my god, it looks dark. That's exciting. Can I just tell you guys, I went to AJ's to get coffee um, instead of Starbucks because the line was too long, that doesn't matter, but I was at AJ's and they have um, like little stickers set up everywhere where you should be standing and um, like where you shouldn't be standing, you know what I mean, whatever. Like there's just stickers set up so that everybody is socially distanced according to AJ's policies, you know? And there was this woman, an older woman, waiting to get something from the, like where they serve like hot food or whatever. And the lady asked her like, hey, could you step behind the blue line? And she didn't listen, she like rolled her eyes, didn't listen. And then the lady asked her again, hey, could you just step behind the blue line? And the lady was like, the older lady was like, do you want me to bend down too? Is that what you want? You guys are so over the top here. I don't have Corona, blah, 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 like yelling at this lady. Like she didn't make it up, you know what I mean? She didn't make, she didn't make the rules. I hope that everybody can kind of just like understand that it's not anyone's fault right now and that those are just like the guidelines for Arizona or for wherever, whatever state that you're in. I hope that um, you guys can recognize that and not be like little bitches to people that are like forced to work. Because obviously this lady didn't feel comfortable. My lady didn't ask me to step behind the blue line. I didn't even know there was a blue line. But obviously like the worker didn't feel comfortable with how close this older woman was standing and just asked her very nicely and the lady was so nasty to her back like i just hope that nobody is like that nobody that i know is like that like two people because i'd be like very fucked up i wouldn't i wouldn't like you you know hi editing lonnie i look offensive but i just wanted to add in fuck that lady and fuck you if you were like that lady you're an awful piece of shit and you deserve the worst Okay, anyways, I'm going to keep tanning. I just wanted to kind of throw that in there. Um, just hoping that everybody is a little bit, that can be, like, respectful. Because it's not anybody's fault that this is happening. You know what I mean? 
nobody makes up the rules. I understand that it could be frustrating that you have to like walk a certain way in the grocery store or wait behind people or like step far back. I understand that can be frustrating because you're not used to it. And now you have to follow all these new rules. But I think that it's for our best interest. And I think that everybody should kind of just respect that and understand that it's not like the workers who set that in place, you know? And also don't be a fucking bitch. I don't know. Just be respectful, okay? I'm gonna keep tanning. So, I just finished and I am so fucking tan. I am like a different ethnicity. So fucking tan right now. But it'll get dark and then it'll um, wash off and it'll probably be just like a bronzy. But I put on loose clothes, so sweatpants, sweatshirt. And now I have to wait for eight hours. I forgot about that, so I can't really do my makeup. I don't really need to either. Um, so yeah, I'll see you probably tomorrow because in eight hours, I'll probably want to be asleep. Um, I washed it all off and yeah, I'm tan. I'm not like the darkest I've ever been from a tanner, but I'm like tan enough. So I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Primer right here and on my nose and with the it cosmetics cc cream and um a beauty blender i'm putting that all over my face do you guys like hate this angle is this the worst thing in the world or are we like is it fine i don't really have like a million options to like feel like places to film you know what i mean so I hope everyone's okay with it. I don't know how I feel if you're not okay with it. We are going to highlight the fuck out of our face. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Age Rewind and highlight. Going into the eyes, down the side of the nose. I know I said I don't contour anymore and typically I don't, but I'm just trying to get rid of these because they're just like, at this point, they're just taking up space. So I've been using them like for the sole purpose of just getting rid of them because I'm tired of them. Okay. So that's where I would contact. Oh, you know what I saw last night? I'm gonna do it right here. Under my lip again. And then right here. On the cupid's bow of my lip. Ooh. So I'm gonna start baking with this. I just got this from Ulta. I like how on Jeffree Star's um like didn't he on his powders like the powders that he made didn't he make the pull tab really long so like whores with nails can take it off that's no shade like normally i'm a whore with nails we're just in quarantine and i don't feel like risking my life to be a whore right now you know so i'm gonna start baking now this is an eco tool sponge too and it's so bomb i don't i've never like really heard anybody like talking about eco tools but you should like these sponges are fucking great they get gigantic they're super super squishy they're like the real technique sponges mixed with the morphe sponge shape you know what i mean i don't like beauty blenders i'm gonna say it and then the morphe sponges are too hard for me just get into it yeah get into it i'm gonna contour now i'm gonna contour my nose and i guess like my forehead and shit i don't know i don't know don't judge my dirty brushes okay I'm gonna wash them today. Literally in my last video, I'm like, I didn't, I don't contour that much. Not my last, you know what I mean? I don't contour. I never do it. Does it make sense to me? Cut to, I don't know. Like you just go on waves, okay? Like sometimes you wanna contour and sometimes you don't. And right now I kind of wanna contour. I just wanna be like full, you know, full beat, full everything. Doing my eyebrows now. I think I'm just gonna do this off camera because it takes too long. Okay, I'm back with eyebrows. I forgot to contour my nose, so we're gonna do that right now. A little angled dude. Nose contour can really be a fucking bitch, you know? I could really be that lady from AJ's yesterday or look like super muddy or I don't know, or be like too harsh. Just like that lady from AJ's yesterday, muddy and harsh. I hate her. She looks such a bitch, like for what? Why are you so rude? I don't know why I'm still thinking about her. 
I just have empathy for that woman, for the worker. I'm gonna take the same brush that I just used um, to contour my nose and just put that into the crease in my eye. Like sloppily, it doesn't really matter. Kind of bringing it into the nose right here, like going in right here and um, bringing it out to create a elongated, foxy fucking eye effect. Killer husband whacked. Now I have eyelashes on. This is what I feel like a normal girl's makeup would look like, right? And then like blush and highlighter. But I like to look like a hua, an absolute hookah hua, the sluttiest slut of them all. That's not me, based on my actions, but that's me based on my mind. You know what I mean? I embody a whore. I'm not a whore, but I embody a whore. These ones, these eyelashes are from um, Walmart and they're this number right here. This number and then there's another number one that I like, but I don't really want to tell you because I'm like, what if you all live where I live and then you like, I know I'm only getting like 40 views, but like what if 40 people started buying all the same eyelashes as me? Then I would never have my eyelashes. So I'm not going to go much more into depth other than these are them and um, you can get them at Walmart. Guys, I sold more stuff on Depop. And one of the things that I sold, oh my god, it's such an ego boost. One of the things that I sold, I made myself. That means that I'm a fashion designer. Move over, everybody. Okay. It looks a little wonky, but I think it I think it works. They look like a tiny bit wonky, but like. Oh, so I'm gonna go in with the Milani Luminoso blush. And put that. Remember I said I'm not gonna do blush. Put that on my cheeks. Put it on. I'm just gonna put it right here though, not all the way up. Cause we're going for more natural. Oh my god, bitch. Okay, sorry. And this right here. Oh my open Bitch. A little right here. A little right here. And then a little just on the tip of my nose. Okay, hey, and now we're a glazed fucking donut. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is just take that same highlighter and just highlight my eyes. I just use a fluffy brush because I don't want it to look, at least around my eyes, I don't want it to look too um, bright. I don't know why. I want my eyes to like not be as bright. Put it right there, put it right there, and then put it underneath my brow. So now, we are all the way hot. You saw me go from ugly little swamp creature to passable swamp creature okay um yeah i'm tan i have a full face of makeup my skin is soft hopefully one day i won't have acne and the kylie powder is not that bad okay and then i do have a pretty little a pretty little thing haul coming soon i ordered more stuff so i figured i'd just do it all together um instead of like do one and then do another so i'll do it all together um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video i don't know when that'll be i try to shoot for every wednesday i know this is a friday when this is going up and i think my last video went up on a monday i'm gonna try to shoot for wednesdays try but i don't know yet yes so thank you for watching let me know again if you have any comments Thank you for everybody who is subscribing and thank you for everybody who's leaving comments or like messaging me and letting me know like you think my videos are cute or whatever. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. Honest to God, it does. So thank you for that. And I'll see you guys whenever I decide to catch my breath and make another one. I'm off to go ship off Depop packages because I am a fashion designer now.